Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In this video, we're gonna talk through how you can enable SMB compression in Windows Server 2025. If you're not familiar already, without SMB compression, files sent over a network, for example, from server A to server B, are sent byte for byte. Normally, when you copy a file over a network share, it is sent byte for byte. However, with SMB compression enabled, the server compresses the file on the server side prior to sending, and then the client decompresses it on the fly. This results in less data traveling over the network. And the main benefit to this is faster copying speeds of those files. So we're gonna cover all of that in this video. Before we get started with today's video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in less. guys so this is my desktop here for indigo server 2025 uh, this is my main windows server 2025 license i have the server promoted to domain controller and i use it for most of the demonstrations on this channel now it's worth noting that by default on windows server 2025 windows smb compression will already be present that doesn't mean that it will always be enabled so the first thing that we can do is check our existing status all right guys so we're going to start inside of windows powershell and once we're here, if we have a command that main, uh, we're gonna run, this is gonna tell us our current configuration status for SMB compression, whether right. it's globally enabled or not. The command entered here is get dash SMB server configuration, then a hyper vertical bar, and then we're gonna select, um, so just type select and then a space and then disable compression. Start at enter. Disable compression is false, which basically means that compression uh, is enabled globally. Now, if you return a true value for whatever reason, we would use a similar command. We would Not. use set dash SMB server duration configuration hyper our vertical bar again. Here we would use a hyphen. Then we would type in disable compression Enter. followed by dollar sign and then false. Again, we already is have this set, so it's not going to do anything. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Actually, I was wondering why this was doing Just that. It should be set SMB server configuration, and we're not using the uh, vertical bar this time, so it would just be disable compression and then false. Okay, and then here we get confirmation. So I'm type yes, and the change will be set. At this. Uh, again, this didn't make a change because ours was already false. Now, we're also able to enable SMB compression over a specific SMB. share. So in a previous video, we created a share that I'll show you here. Uh, and this is a share folder called demo. Uh, I think it's called demo, yeah, demo data, which is on my local C drive. And so I could basically set this specific per share. If I type set dash SMB make share, um, then the name, so hyphenated dash name, and then demo dash data. This is so the folder I just showed you, compressed data set to true. We'll hit enter. Here we a, can again confirm with a call Y that we do want to perform this action. And then that change has been made as well. Now I'm gonna try to test this really quick. So I have this office setup file here. Uh, not a very large file, but it might work for what we need. For this, I'm gonna do the run box windows key and M. Okay, here I'm gonna type perf mon for the performance monitor dot MSC. Once we're in here, we're going to actually add a few counters. So let me go ahead and maximize this. If I right click anywhere in the open space and add counters, and then if I scroll down to the SMB quick. server shares, if I look underneath that, we'll be able to see a compressed request work per second. For the instances here, I'm gonna select the C drive. I'll just select all instances and I'll press okay. I'm gonna add one more counter here. And this is also in the SMB server shares. Double click that and we go ahead. And that's, I'm looking for bytes compressed per second. I'll do all instances and then I'll add, sorry, I forgot to add on the last one. So we also need to do this one here, compress request per second, add that, press OK. Okay, so we have our counters. Um, let me go ahead and put this on the right side of my screen. I'll use the snap layouts here. Add one. And then on the left side, I don't need this anymore, but I do need my file explorer. So I'll take this from my downloads here. I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna go move it into my SMB share demo data. And if compression is working, the numbers over here that we're seeing should increase. All right, let's go ahead and paste it. 
Yeah, I think this file is too small head. for us to test this properly, but just to demonstrate, you know, if you have like a four gigabyte log file yeah. or something like that, I'd go ahead and move that in between shares. And you can use the performance monitor with the counters that we just added to Let's test it. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below, and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to know what those are. Most of you commented video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. A drop helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.